that remarkable story we brought you on Tuesday. Right. Kevin and Hunter yeah. Stevens yeah. almost reeled in the big one while fishing off the coast of Texas. Well, they always planned it, to give it back. Now they're here to tell us live what it's like battling an almost seven-foot shark over an hour from a small kayak, no less. And yeah, when, we'll find out what Mama had to say <laughs> when she heard about the tale when they got home. But first, let's look at what happened in that kayak. Oh, yeah, Daddy. That's a big boy. Nine-year-old Hunter Stevens and his dad, Kevin, were about to call it a day when they snagged this nearly seven-foot black tip shark. Beauty, huh? Hold on, he's pulling us around. Far from shore in the hot and humid Gulf of Mexico. Kevin struggled with the shark for an hour. He's pulling us about a mile. Half a mile from where we started. What? That's a long. This pair, no strangers to the sea, they've caught all kinds of fish, but nothing like this. Okay, he's going back up again. Kevin brings a shark up for one last look. There he is. Before setting it free. Bye bye! Oh, so joining us now live are Kevin and Christina Stevens, their son Hunter, and cute little daughter Hannah over there so it's great to have you all here with us all right daddy let me start with you first <laughs> now you've been a long time fisherman yes. you've even brought people out on a guide you've caught sharks um, hundreds of sharks in your lifetime yes. but have you ever experienced something quite like this not on the kayak we, we go shark fishing quite often but this was the largest shark i've caught on the kayak so far so when we first got it up, it was a little bit intimidating, but we've done it before, so we, we were we were fairly safe. And you always intended catch and release. You had no intention yeah, of keeping... Yeah, we don't keeping. keep them. It's all just catch and release. Okay, so why do you go fishing for sharks? <laughs> for the fun of it. <laughs> for the fun? It's a little bit How of... How fun is it for them? <laughs> it, well, it, they might not like it, but I let them go, so uh -huh. they get to live another day. Yeah. Uh, the fun is when they start pulling us around, though, so that's uh, it's a little bit of a drilling rush for... For a while. And what is that called? A Texas, Texas sleigh, sleigh ride, ride. Is what they call it. At least in Texas, that's what they call it. <laughs> that's it. So, Hunter, were you scared at all? Not that scared. Hmm? Not that scared. Not that scared? <laughs> you were taking the video and everything, and we heard your voice. But what did you think when you saw the shark so close? When it was close mm -hmm. to us, I was like, I thought it was going to bite us or tip us. I thought something was going to go wrong with that shark in us. Oh, but thankfully nothing like that happened. And you had your dad here. And it's a black tip. And yes. they're, and the species of sharks, a little... They're on the bottom of the, the danger chain. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll take your word for it. All right. So when they came home, Christina, and showed you the video, what's the first thing you said? Well, I mean, they do this all the time, every weekend. So when my husband called me saying he needed water from heat exhaustion, I told him he could take himself to the store and get it because I was occupied working. Um, and then he shows me the video and I'm like, okay, it's a little bit different ball game. Um, it was a really comical. However, even though they may be a little bit more docile shark, I don't like sharks. No. This is about as far into the water as I go. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I just thought it was a really neat thing because, uh, first of all, it's, it's quite interesting he did it on a kayak. And second, my son wants to be a marine biologist. So, I mean, it was amazing to know that he finally got to get a bigger shark and I mean, this black tick was lar larger than average mm, um, yeah, mm -hmm. from what I know. So, I mean, it was really great to know that he got to see part of his dream kind of come true. Last mm -hmm. year, his GT project was on Jacques Cousteau, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. He had his so son on He really time. loves yeah. the ocean. That's great. And you support him, especially that you want to be a marine biologist. And what better with your dad and your mom and everything and to learn like that. But there are some people who are saying, maybe a bigger boat. Maybe a boat, not a kayak. Well, we've had boats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've done it many times on boats, but mm -hmm. uh, it's more fun on a kayak. Uh, it is challenging. <laughs> Hannah, you don't want any part of this, do you? <laughs> You're steering clear. But you made sure that Hunter was a good swimmer yes. and things before you brought him out. He's a strong kayak. swimmer. We practice uh, turning the kayak over, getting back in. We do these drills all the time so he knows what to do. We wear life jackets. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we carry knives and shears on the side of us so we can cut the line if something bad goes happen. So right. if something bad happens. So we, yeah, we, we take a lot of safety precautions. Yeah, you want to go back out there again, Hunter? 
Yes. And and what? When did you want to become a marine biologist? Before this, or just because you're around water all the time, living down in Texas? What do you like about that? Because I'm around animals. His oh, first mom. word was fish, not mom or dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so fish. as a baby, um, that was his first and word. My fish. family's from Norway, and his family has always had him active in fishing since two. So I don't know if it's like the bloodline going on here or something, but he. He didn't say mommy first. He said he fish. He said fish. So he so. was destined. Well, look at those eyes. We're glad everything worked out well. It was interesting to see, yeah. especially from a kayak like that. And like you said, you've been doing this for a long time. Yes. And, and it's good to know that you did let the, yes. the shark live and, another day. And we'll be back next Saturday doing it again. Are you really? Yes. Oh, my yes. goodness. Yes. They're exhausting. I could just look in your eyes <laughs> and tell what you're really thinking. Well, it's hot out there. It in is. Texas, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so I cannot be the cheerleader from the sidelines every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> You've got bigger issues than that shark, my friend. Yes, I know. <laughs> Christina, thank you. Everyone, Hunter, Hannah, perfect. You were perfect this morning. Thanks so much. We appreciate thank you. Thank you, Robin. We appreciate thank you letting you. us come on. You got it.